today we're going to be checking out the first 12 mods that we make to our 2024 Jeep Wrangler. A fix it, let's fix it. Are you looking to upgrade your current Jeep vehicle? Maybe turn it from stock to more badass like this one here? You're gonna wanna check out our Dirt Road Cred Upfitter Affiliate Program. Whether you're looking to have a lift kit installed, wheels and tires, or heck, even an AMW full V8 conversion, whether you don't have the time, the tools, or really the knowledge to tackle a project that's out of your expertise, we're gonna be able to connect you with a shop that is in your home state and they're recommended from viewers on this channel. All you have to do is go on our website, fill in your information on our Upfitter Affiliate Program tab, and you'll get connected right to a shop. So the first mod that we actually made to this Jeep you never got to see because we had just finished signing the papers, or should I say Ryan did. And before we left on our journey to Tennessee, we threw on a set of rock stoppers. Now they actually just mailed us a set too, and it said, congrats, Ryan. Jason and his family over at Rock Stoppers are absolutely incredible. They are the nicest people ever. And we didn't even text them or message them about it. They just sent this here. The coolest thing underneath this post-it note, if you look to their new advertising, it's actually my Jeep used as the photos there. So really Really great family great product and this is the first mod that we threw on here and we got it on and got these hinges protected so you don't end up like mine where i dinged them in the first two minutes of driving it now what these rock stoppers do is they're actually a 12 millimeter thick film that covers the front end of the barrel hinges now barrel hinges are uniquely found on the jeep because they are on the exterior of the vehicle thus liable to get hit by rocks road debris and anything else and chip the paint imagine a rock flying off at 75 it is easily going to chip right through the paint not with rock stoppers and for less than 30 bucks, you can get a set for your two door or your four door and prevent the chips from leading to corrosion and making your Jeep just kind of look unsightly. That was definitely a great mod. You can watch our full installation video on our channel. So number two and three mods are also ones that we've talked about before on the channel, but they're Ryan's personal favorite. So we figured we'd show them off in these first mods for the 2024. And that is the Yeti cup holder adapter in here, which now Ryan can have this in his Jeep and not be flying around with this jumbo Yeti. But that does really get you Used. And I gotta say that has probably been our most used product is the Yeti cup holder adapter. And it holds these large drinks. It holds your, your wallet, your keys, your phone. You can throw all sorts of things inside there. And honestly, we love them. We have a bunch of them here and we use them in all of our vehicles. And then the mod number three is actually the Jeep licensed towel to go that Ryan runs on the driver's seat. Ryan's sweaty, good old Pennsylvania boy down in the southern Tennessee heat the other week, and he got a fresh Jeep and didn't want to sweat up his new Heather Gray seats. So we threw the towel to go on there, and it not only works for sweaty, but if you go to the pool like we do, we have a Jeep branded one in my Jeep. You throw it down, the kids jump into it. It's a great little mod, and honestly, it's pretty cheap to do, and it's going to protect these new seats. These are Heather Gray. They are cloth, so they'll easily dry, but that's just going to make them look good for years to come. And plus, if you guys not even are you know wet or sweaty or whatever if you just come home from a long day at work and you're just feeling a little bit dirty you got mud all over use these even wheeling that's going to make a great seat cover for you mod number four on the inside of the 2024 wrangler is a bullet point complete setup here with the wireless magsafe charger now what this is great for on the 2024 wrangler is that this is going to wirelessly charge your iphone which i believe it's a 12 or newer and also give you a great secure way to mount your phone now if you guys don't want the magsafe charger and you want either the wireless just the magnet mount or even the standard clip mount you can order those from bullet point we've been sponsored by them since the beginning and we love running their mounts even before we had our channel here on youtube and now that they have the 2024 out this is a great way to securely mount your phone and other devices such as gopro ipads and things of that nature to the dash of your jl what's really cool is they have both ball mounts for the driver and passenger side and then they've also got a ruby grid system that is coming very soon so it really mounts up well on here it looks clean and honestly, it's a perfect way to mount your phone and other accessories. If you guys want to see the full video on installing this, it's going to be in our channel. We'll drop the link down below. It's a simple installation, but it shows you the in and outs and how to get it done on your 24. Mod number five, absolute essential, the Mopar all-weather floor mats. Now, Ryan had to special order these. Not too many places keep them in stock because they are the two-door, so the rear actually comes with two separate pieces there, but still got your miner's cross there, your shovel and pickaxe in the back, all your topography, your little dinosaur right there on the front. The nice thing about these, especially the front ones, is that they tap into the factory drain plug. So all you have to do is you roll, remove your factory carpeted mats and then cut the little piece out, pull the drain plug out and set it into your front mat. I know that sounded like a lot, but we're gonna drop these rear two back in and then we're gonna show you how to do the front. You just have to cut off the little zip tie and then we'll show you exactly how to get it done. Nice, simple install. I do this on all of my Jeeps and a great way to protect the floor. All right guys, so the rear one is just gonna simply drop into place with the seats folded up. And the nice thing is you do have your tie down here. So that'll just sit right in like that. Gives you a nice amount of coverage. Check this out. Such a hard install here. 
drops right into place, even covers up the back of the hinge. Looks nice. Great way to protect the back of the floor for your passengers if you got little ones or even your buddies in the back here. Got your muddy boots or you want to store gear. This is a great way to kind of collect it all. So guys, for the Mopar floor mats, all you need to do is pull the carpeted mat up and then right next to this standoff, there's gonna be kind of a pre-perforated section. Now, all you need to do is grab the front of it, grab yourself a sharp blade, give it a little slice on the left, I mean a little slice on the right, and a little slice on the left. Now, this piece of carpet here is meant to come out. The reason being, if you completely soak the interior of this Jeep, you can pull the drain plug. Well, now that we have the Mopar floor mats, you're actually gonna pull this drain plug out. We're gonna set it aside grab our Mopar floor mat, set our brand new floor mat into its place, and then check this out. So this actually goes, and if you give it a nice hit, pushes right down into the drain. <laughs> give it a nice firm smack, it'll push down into the drain plug. There we go, I heard it click. And then the cool thing is, so when you go to rinse out the inside of your Jeep, you can rinse this out, pull this plug, which now on the outside so don't you didn't you're not missing pieces in your Mopar floor mat box you just need to cut your carpet and put that on the outside check it out guys I think this is the most factory looking thing you can do to the Jeep and besides the red the red's a little bit bright but besides the rest of it I absolutely love these the next mod that we're going to be installing here is a set of the Mopar sill plates now the reason we do this right away is that we don't absolutely destroy the entrance here by getting in and out I can tell you that by me wearing boots and all sorts of other equipment it really does chew them up and really nick them up on the inside these are direct from Mopar they're only the two doors so they simply adhesive on on the back with 3m and they're a super simple mod to add on and protect. Clean them off with a little isopropyl alcohol on the back of this rag. It looks pretty good besides that they spelled Wrangler wrong. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Not. Officially licensed, these are the Mopar products, so there you go. Just the, uh, and these are made in Canada. For all our northern friends, we got 10% of our audience is Canadian, so check these out. We're going to just kind of line them up in place here. I believe... What I'm going to do is just get them to line up just about at that hump right there. And then on the back and then you're going to want to just kind of push them towards the back when you get them installed so let's go ahead we'll pull these off and they see this is why you buy mopar because they actually give you little pull tabs here to get the 3m off wow wow i'm gonna tuck those right in your toes and then what we're gonna do is just get that lined up right there give it a good push and notice we push towards this back section so that way it'll be firmly against and then Ryan's getting all of my weight to really get these to connect. Sick protected. So we were just about to install another mod on this video. We we're going to throw on, we had an extra Azuto map light that we absolutely love on my 2022 Wrangler, but we just looked up at the top here and they've completely redesigned the way it looks. I knew it was a little bit different, but I didn't know how different the sport would be. The microphones are now here instead of tucked back, which is honest to God, a little bit better. This kind of microphone faces you. I'd imagine Azuto is definitely going to have these designed real soon, but this one will not fit for now. That's when we're going to throw them because the nighttime driving on that looks really, really great. So that one we're not going to be able to do quite yet, but hopefully we'll have some soon. Now, if you guys want to check out what these look like installed as well as all of the other Azuto products, be sure to check out our video. We have a full host of all of their products installed on my Jeep. They're absolutely awesome and we love them. But you know what, Ryan, that product won't fit, but we got two that will fit on here and we got an extra set. So let's throw on another Azuto product in replacement for this. So unfortunately Ryan did get a base sport so he has to have he actually has to use his keyhole a lot but Azuto makes these really nice keyhole covers and this is confirmed they will fit on the 2024 model. They look fantastic and while Ryan won't be able to use the one on his doors because he's going to constantly have to pop them off well I guess you could Ryan you could use these in the winter time and then just pop them off put your key in and throw them back on but we are able to utilize the one on the back because his tailgate actually locks. So here's the one on the back and because Ryan does have a tailgate with an actual key lock this one will cover it up and it looks very nice there was a comment on the azuto video on this one how does it stick to the aluminum door the magnet is on the inside here actually in the very center and it is steel on the inside of the keyhole lock so that's why it sticks there really clean mod and a great way to cover up any of that chrome which we don't like around here so as we were down in Tennessee, Ryan was rolling around with his Jeep and had his feet out the door and really was like, you know, I need a place to rest my feet. I need to look cool. I want to be one of those guys. Stick my feet outside. Luckily for us, 
At every Jeep show you go to, there's a ton of people selling the foot pegs as well as the mirrors. I gotta say the only thing that was tricky was finding one that actually looked kind of half decent or cool in our opinion. It's very subjective. So whatever you like as a foot peg, you run. But with ours, and especially with Ryan, we wanted to figure out something that looked good. So we kind of got the mountain scene, the trees, and then Ryan thought that these were black when he first bought them, probably because heat, exhaust, I was, I was heat exhaustion. <laughs> I was under a 10 and it just, they, they looked black. And then we got back and I was like, dude, those aren't black. Those are like just about anvil. <laughs> so check that out. I mean, look at how close that is. It might be a little bit off, but come on guys. You're not going to get any, any better than that. So what these do is they're really simple to install too. So we're just going to throw ahead, go ahead and throw the left-hand side on. Pull this little cotter pin on the bottom. Pinch the heck out of my fingers doing so. Is just set that down the pin and set the back piece in there so it kind of catches it. And all you have to do then below is push the cotter pin in just like so. So these are gonna be really firm. When you give it a push this way, it's gonna push against the backside of your hinge and give you a nice little platform here. These look really clean and I'm happy with this setup and it blends so well with the Jeep, guys. It's kind of uncanny how nice Ryan got a match on here. I'm not gonna lie to you, Ryan. I've always been like, I don't need foot pegs. I'm too cool of a guy for this. Where else are you gonna rest your foot? You're gonna dangle That's pretty it sick. That actually is nice. I like that. And it's plus, you know, when you're airing out, when you're airing yeah, out yeah, and in the Jeep in the afternoon when it's 90,000 degrees in Tennessee, these are nice. I don't mind that. I like that. It's pretty cool. Cool mod. Good thing it's a first mod. Ryan already bought it. Ryan has always liked the look of tube doors and lucky for him, I have a set of four in my basement that I never really run. So these are the Mopar tube doors. Let's get them installed here. I want to see if they fit with a 24. There's absolutely no reason they shouldn't fit, but there has been some interesting parts. So let's see, it might not latch up perfectly because my Jeep is a little different, but there you go. They're actually so cold because they're in the air conditioning. It's like 95 degrees out here. Those look sick. I love the Mopar tube doors. The nice thing with these too, compared to standard tube doors, is they use the factory Mopar hinges here, even with the T50, and you can put the safety threads or the security threads underneath here so people can't steal your doors. Nice little red eject button back here. They use a factory latch mechanism and it actually gives you a little bit of room in here to stick your leg out versus just having them completely flush with the door. These look really good on here, Ryan. You might have to, have to come steal these from me. I thought it'd be a disservice if I didn't show up in my own 2024 mods video. So uh, back again for another one to talk about this product that showed up a week after we shot the original portion of this video. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna install these quick throw on the tube doors and talk about it. And it is a set of Lange mirrors and these mirrors are solid. And I was looking for something good. I wanted something solid because I've been running a lot of mirrors in the past on my JKs. I would just run them in the hinges of the doors and that's great and all. And you know, they, they work for the most part, uh, but here in Pennsylvania, it's a little more strict as far as the, the doors being off and stuff. So tube doors had to be on. These Lange mirrors are solid because they bolt right to the to the frame. I, I just had to remove the four Torx bolt heads and pop it on. And uh, they give you an extended bolt to kind of push that mount in there. I, I'm able to see pretty well as far as my blind spots go. And, you know, I'm gonna run my doors off and the top off 90% of the time and for the rest of the summer. So these set of mirrors with these tube doors, I just think it looks really cool. Also, you guys think I look like Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad? I'm absolutely flattered by that. Maybe we get him on this, uh, maybe we get it on this channel. Maybe he has a Jeep, maybe he's in that. Maybe we could all reach out. Let's all come together as a community and reach out to Jesse Pinkman. I think his name's Aaron Paul. Don't quote me on that but Jeep is starting to take shape, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to go. So one mod that we were really hoping to do with the 2024, but with the addition of the side curtain and the roll bag, the roll cage airbags, we were not able to add on the grab handles up here. We're really gonna have to figure out the solution for that and what it looks like. Maybe it's using these two screws and having it wrap around a different way. But right now I just don't really see how that's gonna be possible. It's very interesting here and it's a lot thicker with that side curtain airbag and the roll cage airbag up top. We were hoping to do it. So if you guys have any solutions to that, drop a comment down below because we wanna see. For now, we still have the same A-pillar kind of grab handles that have been on these Jeeps, but just nothing up top, which really is nice in these two doors just to hop in. So hopefully soon we'll have a mod for that. Now guys, one of the last steps here to any Jeep, especially when we add it to the fleet, is the Dur Road Cred decal. We sell these on the website. We're really happy to give them out at shows too. We have smaller ones that if you see us at a show, we'll give you one. Now we're gonna put it kind of right where the Willis four wheel drive logo goes right here because we just have one for right now. So let's kind of line this up and we'll get it installed. This isn't really, it is a mod. What do you think, Ryan? It's a, it's a mod. It's a mod. I'm waiting to put it on. 
Yeah, you've had it for a while now. All right, so I'm gonna, that's one decal. One tip I always do with the decal is, uh, is kind of put half of it down like that, exactly where I want it. And then peel the other half and kind of work it away from it. Should be good. I'm not an expert in decals. Get any air bubbles out. That little one should work out in the sun tomorrow. There you go. Done. Mint. Worth way more money. So guys, our next mod is going to be a little bit more involved and we'll do a full installation video. We found one screen protector for the 2024 JL and it's almost a film here. So it's very similar to uh, kind of like what a, like a, a vinyl wrap or something like that would go on here. So I'm going to try and put it on here without messing it up. It gave us a little bit of solution with soapy water. We're going to put this one on the main section and then there is a little protector for the side one. I'm not sure if we're going to worry about that right now, but we're going to kind of try and lubricate this up with some of the solution, pull this off and and uh, get it installed and then work out the air bubbles. All right guys, so we got the screen protector on. The biggest thing with these screens, especially when they're brand new, is they're very expensive and I can only imagine how much this one is gonna be to replace. So by putting something like this on, you're adding a protective layer of coating, your hands aren't gonna scratch it up, and plus it just, it looks better. You know, you get the screen protector on there, you know it's protected on the underside, and then if it ever does get scratched up, you rip it off and put a new one on. So this one looks really good, and honestly, I'm kind of impressed by my skills there. This is almost like putting a tint on a vehicle, and uh, I did a pretty good job. Now, Ryan will look at it a little bit better tomorrow in the daylight and tell me if I did a good job, but personally, I'm glad that that's protected. This kit did come with sections for the cluster, so for the tack and the speedometer, as well as that center section. I'm not sure if we're gonna do those. That's not really a high touch area. Yeah. In fact, you never have to touch it at all, but this was the main bulk of it. So yeah, looks great here. You can't really see this mod, but you know, it's protected. On today's viewer rig of the video, we are checking out Kevin's 2020 JL Unlimited Rubicon in the Sarge Green finish. Now, Kevin is rocking a set of what looks like a set of 37s on method wheels. He didn't list out what exact tire size he has on here, but it also looks like the KBD composite fender flares, which may be paint matched in the Sarge Green. It kind of looks like it from the first photo. Rebel off-road front bumper with the skid plate and a nice worn VR series winch. Kevin, I really like the hood decal that you have on your Jeep. If you if this is you, comment it down below. I also see some side mounts on the hardtop, and I really like those as well. Looks like some Fox or Terraflex Falcon got some bypass shocks on there. A really clean looking Jeep. I like the Method Bronze with the Sarge Green. I gotta say I'm a huge sucker for any Jeep that has a German Shepherd next to it. So Kevin's got his German Shepherd pup right next to his Jeep and I've got one too. Thank you so much for submitting, Kevin. If you guys wanna have a chance of being featured in our viewer rig of the video, hit us up on Instagram or send us an email. All right guys, well like usual, Dirt Road Cred team, we're fighting daylight out here to get these installs finished up on Ryan's two door. This is a good list of the first 12 though. We were able to get a lot accomplished on this Jeep and really make it a more functional vehicle for Ryan to daily drive it and protect. I would say a lot of today was protection and just making it a ba better daily driver. We've got a lot of good products coming from our sponsors and our vendors. Distinction Applied, Diode, Clayton. We're going to be working with all of them to really upfit this Jeep and get it extremely, extremely built up on a budget, but look very nice. So this 2024 Anvil is just started here today. We're happy to get these installed and kind of show you what parts work with the 2024. This is a learning experience for us as well on what parts fit, what doesn't, what you have to special order, what you can get off the shelf. Stick along with us. This is going to be a very fun build and I hope you guys are enjoying this. We're trying to do things the exact way we would if we were building a Jeep. Starting off with the little things and then gradually working up bigger to get the end result of this vehicle. This has been a fun video. It was a lot of fun to install some brand new parts on Ryan's Jeep for a change. So until next time, my name is Matt with Dirt Road Cred and I want you to get out there and earn yours.